Yo, 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 guys, this is Kevin Cesario with The C Group. Now, everybody loves Pacific Grill, but not everybody knows about the different neighborhoods. Today, I'll take you on a tour. Welcome to the Beach Tract. First and foremost, the Beach Tract. The Beach Tract is a fantastic set of homes. They're located right on the tip of the peninsula. The homes are gorgeous, and they're away from the beaten path a little bit where you're gonna get a ton of tourist traffic. The Beach Tract is home to the Pacific Grove Golf Course, which were initially opened in 1932. The front nine holes have beautiful bay views, and the back nine are tucked up along the shore. It's a really fantastic golf course and one of the best deals around. The beach tract in general is tucked away from downtown and tucked away from the main tourist center. So it's a quieter community with views out into the bay. So you're looking north into the whole bay and on a clear day, you can see all the way to Santa Cruz. Now you have access to the bike path, which runs through the beach tract, meaning that you could take that all the way to Casterville. It runs directly through Cannery Row. It runs directly to the wharfs in Monterey. So that is a direct line of access, whether you're gonna be walking, running, biking, or just out for a stroll to all the cool things that Monterey has to offer. The Beach Track is an awesome place to find Pacific Grove Purple Carpet. This gorgeous plant planted in the early 1900s to bring some color around the original train tracks. It is a tourist destination from all over the world. People come see the natural beauty of the purple flowers growing along the coastline. Now, homes in the beach track typically start around two million. The average home's typically trading in the mid twos, and they can go all the way up to six million on Ocean View Boulevard, meaning front row, beautiful bay views, big gorgeous homes. So somewhere in between two to six with an average in the mid to high twos. Welcome to Downtown PG in Lover's Point. Let's check it out. Lover's Point and Downtown Pacific Grove are such a cool area. This is classic Pacific Grove. This is what people think of when they think PG. Now Lover's Point is this awesome place directly on the water. It's a huge park. It's got beach access, a pool, volleyball courts, shops. It is so awesome. It's an amazing place to get your water activities and get into the ocean. We're talking about fishing, paddle boarding, kayaking, snorkeling. It's an amazing place, people getting in and out of the water all day long. And the bike path runs through Lover's Point and downtown Pacific Grove. So you, again, you have easy access anywhere you wanna go along the peninsula. Now downtown PG is famous for its amazing coffee shops, bakeries, and restaurants. It's got such a cute feel to it and it's quintessential hometown living. There's a little movie theater located downtown, a great little community center in City Hall. Now we're starting to see the development of some luxury condos in downtown PG. The Holman building has already finished completion and sold out, and we're starting to see homes hit on the resale market. We also see the Goodies Project finishing sometime in late 2023 to early 2024. Again, beautiful luxury condos with ocean views. Typically in the downtown PG and Lover's Point neighborhoods, homes will start around 1 million. Now that's gonna be on the very, very small side and typically needing quite a bit of work at that $1 million price point. We'll typically see homes trade on an average from one and a half to two, but they can certainly go up to the mid fours, especially along Ocean View Boulevard with the front row views down into the water. So what do you expect to get when you live in downtown PG or Lover's Point? Quick beach access, beautiful scenery, a cute little downtown with a bunch of local businesses, in a really wonderful style of life. Welcome to Silmar Dunes. What an awesome, awesome community. Live in the sand dunes and watch the sunset on the coast. Now these are all western facing homes at the very tip of the peninsula built into the sand dunes. So when you the sun sets, you're actually looking out west watching it drop behind the water, which is 
fantastic. It's at the true tip of the peninsula. It has quick, easy access and right next to Spanish Bay within Pebble Beach. So you can hop right over there and listen to the bagpiper every night at sunset. Now, Asilomar is famous for the Asilomar State Beach Conference Ground State Park. It became a park in 1956 and the Asilomar State Beach has amazing white sand beaches, tide pools, and rocky coast shore. It's fantastic to take a stroll, go tide pooling, and just enjoy everyday beach life. The Asilomar Marine Reserve, which is located along that strip, is a marine protected area extending from Point Reyes to Point Joe. So all the natural wildlife and sea life are protected. The Asilomar Coastal Trail is a wonderful three quarter of a mile trail leading along the coastline. So if you don't want to get down into the beach or into the tide pools, you can still kind of check it out from the beauty of a pier without having to get dirty. More than these amazing sunsets, these are usually larger lots spread out a little bit more, less of a neighborhood house to house feel, more estately, if you will, with bigger property types, more trees and wider settings. So the average home starts around 1.8 in Asilomar and it can work its way up to the mid twos. Now on the high side, it can go well over 5 million. We haven't seen very many front row to the ocean trades recently, but really the sky's the limit when you have a big estate looking directly out into the water. Asilomar is fantastic and renowned for its beautiful area setting, beaches and sunsets. The lifestyle is quiet and coastal. What should you expect when you're living there? A quiet and tranquil environment tucked up to the coast and beautiful sunsets. Welcome to Del Monte Park. Now, Del Monte Park is the most affordable neighborhood in Pacific Grove. While all of Pacific Grove is considered more of a luxury neighborhood and a little bit more expensive, Del Monte Park is accessible to a little bit more people. The community dates back to 1948. It's located up the hill, but only a couple miles away from the ocean, the beaches, and every all the wonderful things that Pacific Grove has to offer. It's very, very close to the Holman Highway, Highway 68, which will give you access into the remainder of the Monte Monterey Peninsula. It's very close to Pebble Beach, the Defense Language Institute, and the Navy Postgraduate School. So it's a very quick commute in. If you go to the military college at the Defense Language Institute, only a hop, skip, and a jump right down the world. So from Del Monte Park, you can actually walk directly into Del Monte Forest, the beautiful and renowned Pebble Beach forested area. Get all the sightseeing and pine trees you can take and eat a bunch of huckleberries along the way. It's an amazing trip and a beautiful hiking access tucked in neighborhood. There is a bunch of commerce around Del Monte Park, including stores, grocery stores, banks, and some fantastic restaurants and bakeries. Homes typically start around the 800s. They can average out around one, three, to 1.5 and they can almost work their way up to 3 million for a beautiful home with amazing ocean views. What should you expect in Del Monte Park? Fantastic school districts, PG living, quick easy access everywhere you go in a more affordable neighborhood. So if you want to learn more about these neighborhoods and potentially go out on a tour, give me a call. I'd love to show you around.